Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Jeff Moore, published author, professional trader for 16 years, and this is The Ripple Effect. All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today, I'm going to be watching a video from somebody I have never seen ever. Mickle. <laughs> I think I said his name right. I think the video is titled Tomorrow We Will Know. All right, this video was trending in the XRP news category. So I wanted to watch it for myself. Plus, I've never seen this guy. So let's take a look at what our boy Mickle has to say about XRP. What's up, guys? Mickle here. And last night we saw a massive crash in the cryptocurrency market. In this video, Really quickly, I'm watching this. Today's Tuesday, so I think that crash was on Sunday. It says this video was about a day ago, so that crash happened on Sunday. Oh, I want to talk about an event taking place tomorrow that I think has the potential to get us back on track. We were right around the corner from a massive altcoin breakout, and it looks like this crash could have been devastating the charts. I want to talk about what needs to take place tomorrow, what event could put us back on track, Make sure to stick around to the end of the video see that you are not going to want to miss it. I also want to show you a serious narrative taking place on the XRP ledger right now that I think has serious potential to drive the price much higher than many people anticipate. Guys, for the longest time, people called Bitcoin a store of value. They've said that Bitcoin is different from everything else. Yeah, I think I've seen what he's about to talk about. I'm not 100% sure, but Mike Novogratz, right? Billionaire investor, that uh, big Terra Luna guy. <laughs> Got that tattoo, right, of Terra Luna. And then what happened to Terra Luna? It tanked, right? He was telling everybody how great it was. Ah. But yet, when that was going on, the dude didn't understand XRP, right? He kept coming out saying, I don't really understand XRP, but yet you understood Terra Luna? I mean, come on, man. You're a billionaire, but I've seen this clip. Right? He's been talking about Bitcoin as a store of value. And I think what this dude... Mikkel, if I said his name right, is about to tell us is that Mike Novogratz all of a sudden is going to start talking positive about XRP for the first time that I've ever seen, and it is a store of value. So let's see what he says. Out there, I want to show you that some of the biggest XRP skeptics out there are starting to change their mind and call XRP a store of value as well. Guys, you are not going to want to miss this. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to take a quick second to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's really going to help me out so much. Also, if you ever need a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange, Uphold, down in the description of this video. Guys, Uphold is giving away 100,000 XRP. You do not want to miss out on 100,000 XRP. I have no problem with Uphold. I'm not going to participate in any giveaway, but Uphold, no problem with Uphold. Key, go to the link in the description of this video and sign up with Uphold now. With that said, though, let's jump right into it. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Todos tienen el nuevo iPhone 15 con esa cámara increíble. La familia necesita un. So, hey, tu familia te ha apoyado todo. You guys, I want to start this video off and just talk about a that chick, that chick in that commercial. She, <laughs> I didn't think she speaks Spanish. Is it AI? What the hell is that, dude? massive narrative change I see coming to the XRP ledger right now because over the past couple months, we have seen that a lot of the biggest past XRP skeptics have kind of flipped and are now becoming believers of the XRP ledger. Now, this is a lot of previous Bitcoin maxis who I think were kind of proven wrong over the years and are starting to just realize, hey, Ripple is going to be here to stay and so is XRP. But I want to show you that this is actually causing a serious narrative change for how some of the biggest investors in institutions are looking at XRP. I want to play you this clip of Mike Novogratz that just got released today because I think this is going to be a pretty shocking clip for a lot of you. So just so you guys know, Mike Novogratz is a big Ethereum guy, and he has been one of the biggest people really pushing FUD against the XRP ledger. And I want you to listen very carefully what he has to say here. Yeah, I wonder why. Ethgate, maybe? Hmm. Just saying. Here, because I think it's so important for a change in narrative for XRP going forward. 
Guys, for the longest time, so many of these people, like Mike Novogratz, have said that the XRP community is crazy. We don't know what we're talking about. It's completely different from every other cryptocurrency out there. But slowly, one by one, we are watching these people capitulate and tell us that we have been right the entire time. So really quickly, are we crazy or is that dude crazy? Not Nickel. Mickle, Mickle seems like he's cool, man. I mean, he's doing his thing. I'm talking about this No Regrets character. Listen up to this clip, and then I want to break down why it's really so important. Institution, uh, you know, the, the XRP army is real. Uh, they care about their ecosystem and their coin. And, you know, yes, it's got a use case, but broadly the use case is the same as Bitcoin. It's another place for people to want to store value. So I thought that was a really interesting clip by Mike Novogratz right there. And some people might look at that and say, oh, he said XRP has utility, but it's more of a store of value. Is he taking a dig at XRP right there? Guys, not at all. Because at the end of the day, he is right. XRP is a store of value the same way Bitcoin is. The only difference is, is it's a better store of value. It's faster. It's more efficient. It's more scalable. <laughs> exactly. Every single coin out there can be a store of value if that's how you use it. But Mickle's right. It's more efficient. It's more scalable. It's better. So it's a better store of value. Why in the world would I want to focus on just Bitcoin as a store of value instead of XRP as a store of value, which has 50 million times more use case and it's 50 million times faster. Hmm. XRP is the same exact thing as Bitcoin, but better. And what he just said is what institutions are going to start realizing. Just like Bitcoin, XRP has a set supply. And actually, just like Bitcoin, these assets are deflationary. People are losing XRP and Bitcoin every single year. And in fact, XRP gets burned with every transaction. Not only that, though, but XRP is being used by institutions a long-term utility that's only going to further drive its demand. This is so important to understand because what institutions are going to do is start having the same realization as Mike Novogratz just did. XRP is a store of value just like Bitcoin. It's a financial product. It's a decentralized neutral liquid currency that can be used anywhere in the entire world and can move value in fractions of a second. Guys, this is so critical to understand because it's a change in the narrative. For the longest time, people like Mike Novogratz were running around saying, oh, it's just a centralized banker's coin. It doesn't have any value. It's just kind of some way for Ripple to raise money, to sell it on the public. It's inflationary. Guys, we have been saying as the XRP army that these narratives are wrong. They've been dead wrong. And eventually these people. We've been saying this the whole time. All these bashers, we know what's going to happen. It is just a matter of time before every basher, including our boy Pomp, comes back and admits that they were wrong. Because we, we know, and we've known for a long time, just like we knew when the SEC went after Ripple, what it really was. Right, what they were trying to do, handicap Ripple so they could go to the incumbents and they could get ahead, right? Because Ripple had already been first to market, so they're trying to stall them. We know what everybody else either knows or they're going to know, and that's a fact. Take that bitch to the piggy bank. People were going to fall flat on their face. What we're seeing is they are capitulating and admitting that we have been right this entire time. Guys, not that I care about being proven right by someone like Mike Novogratz because I've known I was right. And I think a lot of you guys in this community have known you were right as well. But what this shows is the narratives are changing in the mainstream. And that is extremely important. The more people we get like this promoting XRP rather than pushing FUD, the more people we are going to bring into this ecosystem and the more people that look at XRP as a store of value and potentially a better store of value than Bitcoin, the more people that are going to buy the asset and the more XRP's price is going to go up. Guys, a lot of people in the cryptocurrency market are just not as smart as they think they are. Us as the XRP community, right, we looked at Bitcoin, we yeah, ain't that the truth? <laughs> Actually, not a lot. I would say 99% of them out there 
are not as smart as they think they are. Yeah, ain't that the truth? You saw why Bitcoin was important to the world, but said there needs to be something better. A lot of people just haven't made that connection yet. A lot of people simply don't understand what XRP is, and even someone who is as smart, as connected, as rich as Mike Novogratz is taking this long to realize what XRP He understands what it is. Do not let that clown Novogratz fool you. He understands exactly what this is. He has a hidden agenda for everything he does. He's not a billionaire by accident. You don't just wake up and become a billionaire. He knows exactly what XRP is. But now he's coming out and saying it because he knows now there's no stopping it. XRP really is. Guys, you are early. We are here for something much greater than just a 100, 200,000 percent pump. We are here for an asset that has the potential to change the world. No, I'm here for that 200,000 percent pump. Let's not kid you. I'm, <laughs> I'm here for that 200,000% bump. And eventually, I think the people like Mike Novogratz and these people who haven't seen the vision we have seen are gonna start to realize that as well, just like they are realizing that XRP always has been a serious competitor to what Bitcoin is. You guys now wanna move on and actually talk about the crash that we saw last night, because I know this is probably on a lot of people's minds. And I just wanted to point out something pretty interesting. Guys, this is a range we have been in Okay, so I do technical analysis. I've been doing technical analysis and trading for 16 years. I actually wrote a book. It's available on Amazon at Barnes & Noble. That's a nice symmetrical triangle. You can see it's hitting its head on resistance. So it's either going to, one, drop down to the support level, break through the support level. There's a couple ways to measure that. You know, I told you guys I'm starting that show, the XRP verse, where we're going to be looking at XRP like this going through the charts or it's going to break to the upside, work its way up to about 95 cents. If it gets through 95 cents, it'll work up to about $1.40. So that crash was nothing more than a pause in the existing move. For a very long time. And if you just look at this chart, it really doesn't look like much has changed. We were hopeful that XRP was going to be able to break out of this top resistance. It wasn't. And now we're just falling back within this consolidation pattern. <laughs> Guys, there is no doubt in my mind, eventually XRP is going to break out of this thing. It has to eventually, and it's definitely a positive sign that we're still pushing on the top end of this range. But so far, we just haven't had that catalyst we needed for this thing to really break out. We haven't had that big piece of XRP news to really pump us through the top end of this range. We tried to pump out of this range when we got the XRP is not a security news, but then the SEC appealed the case, it got dragged on, and we lost the momentum. Then we tried to break back out again when we got the XRP BlackRock. Just remember, guys, right now what's driving this, it's all speculation. It's based on Bitcoin, okay? Bitcoin moves, XRP moves. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less right now. I'm not saying it's always going to be that way. We know that. But right now, that's the way it is. That day, I'm pretty sure Bitcoin dropped also. It's just doing what it has always done. ETF news, and then it turned out to be fake, and we fell back in this range. Guys, we need some catalysts. We need something positive to give this market the liquidity to break out and maintain that breakout. Because what we know about XRP is once it gets moving, it gets moving fast. We just haven't had that event yet. We haven't had that catalyst to convince institutions that they need to step back into this market in a really big way. Now, one thing that I think that is taking place tomorrow that I think has the potential to put us back on the right track and put us in a good position for that catalyst to take place is the inflation numbers. Guys, so far, every single time we have gotten good inflation numbers, the market has gotten more and more confident. And that's because... Let's see. I haven't looked at the market today. So let's see if it's made any difference because that number's already came out. Right, that number's already came out. So let's go see really quickly if it did anything. All right, looking at XRP right now, it's at 61 cents. So <laughs> last time I checked XRP, it was at 61 cents. 
So it doesn't really look like that announcement did much of anything. Just look at the crypto market. Nothing's happening. So it didn't have pretty much any effect. Because the more we go back to normalize inflation in the United States, the more that we are going to be put in an opportunity where institutions can feel more comfortable investing into the cryptocurrency market. Because, guys, institutions are just not going to make risky investments in scary environments. But what we have seen is inflation is falling rapidly and going back to normal levels. There's a lot of people who have a really hard time believing this, but guys, if you look at the data, you will understand inflation has fallen off a cliff. And I just wanted to pull up this chart quick to show you guys inflation in the last couple months has fallen from 7% to 3%. As long as this data continues to come in low and as long as we continue to stay in this 3% range, this is what we need for institutions to get comfortable and put more money into the market. Now, I don't think this is going to be the catalyst to make XRP break out, but it's going to 100% agree with that. 100% agree with that statement. Be the start to getting institutions comfortable putting money back into this asset class. And I think on the back of the ETF news, that could be the thing to inject liquidity back into the market. Guys, what we know is altcoins always follow Bitcoin. We didn't get the altcoin breakout we were waiting for right here where it got hit by this resistance. But guys, we are so close to that event taking place. What we need is good market conditions and a catalyst, and we will get that breakout. And the one thing I want to stress more importantly than anything is this idea that Bitcoin is going to survive and things like XRP are going to go away. That is falling on its face in real time. And that goes back to the mic. We, we know there is no chance that Bitcoin is not going to survive, that XRP is not going to survive. The bottom line is this is a brand new asset class, the first, hit, the first asset class introduced since the bond market. As long as these coins can solve a real world problem, it's not going anywhere. This is going to be bigger than the internet. I was around on the internet and I chose not to invest in it like an idiot. That won't happen this time. Mike Novogratz clip. Guys, what Mike Novogratz is telling you here is that XRP is going to be seen in the future as an important asset, just like Bitcoin. Institutions are going to create XRP ETFs and investors are going to use XRP as a store of value, just like Bitcoin. I think because of XRP's utility, it actually has the potential to be a better store of value than Bitcoin, a better financial asset than Bitcoin. But guys, what we know based on this change in the sentiment, way better asset than Bitcoin, is that altcoins like XRP are 100% going to cause this breakout to happen. And as these market conditions change and as we get more catalysts, guys, I think we are still well within the bull run. We need that XRP breakout. We need that catalyst to make it happen. Guys, to me, the crash we saw last night was nothing more than just a short liquidation. And in fact, we have a lot of bullish catalysts still around the corner to keep this bull market going. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the all right, Mickle, right? My boy, dude, never seen that dude before, but I like the video. Definitely going to give it, you know, a like a 7 out of 10. No problem. It's trending. It's trending for a reason. Big takeaway. Now, he said tomorrow we will know. You look at the market. Didn't really have much of an effect, but things are coming. The Mike Novogratzes of the world, the billionaire, the people who think they're smarter than us, they're coming around because at the end of the day, we know who is going to get the last laugh. It's a certainty. It's like Gary Vaynerchuk said. He was doing all this stuff before anybody was watching him, and he was super excited because he knew what was coming before everybody else did. And that's what's happening right now. We know what's coming before everybody else. Hey, guys, do me a favor. If uh, you found value, hit the like button. Spread this bad boy out. I love doing this. You guys rock. Help me out. It lets out YouTube think that this show is worth the crap. Plus, if you guys are into trading, not sure if you are, but I've been trading for 16 years. I love it. I trade the futures market. I day trade the futures market live on this channel Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, Tuesday and Thursday, S&P 500 futures. I'm also big into options. I've been trading options for 16 years. You can make a lot of money 
trading option. So if, if that's something that's cool, check out some of my playlists on this channel, right? Really awesome playlist. Um, you know, you won't regret it if, if you're into options, okay? Now, I do have a free options course. So if you thinking about it, or you're like, hey, that sounds pretty cool. I like to make a lot of money. Check it out completely for free. All right, buddy. We'll see you guys in the next uh, Ripple Effect. I'm Jeff Moore saying, if you want to have more, you have to think more. Peace.